Hi guys, Christina Ritchie. If you want more pars, but you really struggle inside 80 yards, you just feel like your balls are going too high, two-way miss, you have no control whatsoever, then let's tackle that right now. We're gonna get you more forward shaft lean. All that means is the shaft is leaning, bow your lead wrist, which is gonna help you square the face. When players go off, is they come in, with the club leading, club head leading, the shaft behind, and a cup lead wrist, and the ball's gonna balloon up, squirt to the right or squirt to the left, low, chunked, no good. So today I'm gonna really help you achieve a better impact position so you can get some action on the green. You ready? Let's get to it. So the secret to success, good ball, dry grooves, forward shaft lean if you want to get some action around the green. All right, so 80 yards and in, a lot of players really struggle because they're trying to get it in the air. So they're adding a scoop. They're trying to get under it. They're trying to get the ball high. So they end up with this kind of action with their lead wrist. All right, instead, I'm going to come in real close. To get the action in the spin, we need our hands leading, hands leading the club head, and the top of your hand, your lead hand, pointing to the ground. All right, as you rotate. All right, well, players also go off around the green as they don't rotate. All right, they just use their arms and have this kind of action. And they think it's good because, ooh, it went in the air. But in reality, you're not gonna have any distance control. Yeah, you might hit a couple good ones because it's going in the air and it looks pretty, but you're not going to get the spin. All right, so instead we want this action. So you can see as I'm coming through, I'm rotating. The hands are leading. Palm down. Top of the glove down. Rotation. Not cupped. Club at a head. No rotation, hands behind the club head. We need hands ahead of the club head with rotation. And this is the prerequisite for the long game as well. All right, so you can see on my finish, I've rotated through. Even though it's a short shot, my belt line is pointing towards the target. It's not left of the target because it's not a full shot. All right, so how do you train for this? Well, I love training forward shaft lean, which is hands ahead, top of your glove pointing down for the, the flexion. This is flexion, this is extension. Important concept here. Flexion, extension. All right, this helps to square the face. This keeps the face wide open and the ball flight will be too high. All right, so from this angle, as I come down, if at the top, a lot of players are cupped. So that opens the face. You can see the toe of the club is down. All right, we actually want to square it. And that's why we have bow. All right, if it's cupped or this is pointing to the sky, the face is open. And around the green, yeah, the ball will go higher, but you're not going to really have any control. You're not going to have any spin. All right, so to groove this, a great drill. All right, so grab a bunch of tees and go ahead and make the move that I'm going to suggest right now with a tee before a ball. All right, this is a great way to practice. You hit a tee or two, then a ball. And what I want you to do is rehearse the move. And here's the move. All right, we're going to have just a little bit more weight on our front side. We're going to turn our chest. And the club head's gonna be parallel to the ground. Now we're gonna add the flexion. So this part of your glove down, and then you're gonna rotate, keeping your chest square, but you're gonna rotate, including your shoulder, away from the ball. All right, and then you're just gonna finish just like that. So in other words, you're not gonna do any kind of rotation with your forearm. All right, so it looks like this. All right, and you're gonna finish just like that. All right, so do it with a T. You may need a couple T's when you do it because it could be very new for you. 
And then with a ball. All right, so when you finish, you should have this action, a little trail hand wrist hinge still intact. All right, what we don't want is to have the club go that way. We want to finish with the club this side, not that side. All right, because then if that's the case, you most likely flipped at it. All right, a little flipperino. So we want to let the body rotation deliver the club to the ball. All right, a lot of players don't rotate enough, and that's why they don't have any forward shaft lean. All forward shaft lean is, is the shaft is leaning. That's all that is. Forward shaft lean, the shaft is leaning. Flexion of the lead wrist, square face. All right, if you come through and the club is leading, lead hand is cupped, ball's gonna go too high, you're gonna have no spin. The ball's gonna ride up the face. We actually wanna hit it kinda lower on the face to create the spin. You don't wanna hit it high on the face because the ball will balloon up and you will really struggle with distance control. We wanna hit it lower on the face. That's gonna generate the most spin. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so I love practicing with tees because I can square the face to the tee. All right, so this reminds you to bring it back square, not open or shut. So I really like practicing with the tees. It simulates the ball to your brain, so you make a real swing, all right, without the worry of the ball when you're grooving a new move. This is a really smart way to practice your entire game, your long game. All right, so if you do this right, your ball flight should be low. All right, so again, do it with the tee first. Make sure you turn your chest where players are going to go off here is they're just going to take their arms back. All right, if you do that, you're most likely going to hawse and rocket it. All right, the ball is going to go right. So make sure you turn your chest. I'm going to come in a little closer for that because that's important. All right, when players go off, when they take the club back, they just take it back with their arms. All right, chest isn't moving. So we got to turn the chest and let the hips rotate a little bit. Okay, and then from here, add the flexion with your wrist and then rotate left away from the ball with your body, keep your chest back and your head back, and rotate through. All right, keeping the head back, not down, but back, while you strike is another important point. All right, so you're literally pausing, you're stopping, dead stop. Boom, boom, boom. 